The Indian Army has signed a contract with Z-Motion Autonomous Systems Private Limited for the procurement of indigenously developed tree natural loitering munition. The company had already supplied some sample units to the Army for trials in January, that was tested extensively at high altitude locations. The tree natural hand launched loitering munition weighs only 5.5 kg and carries 1 kg warhead, and it has a range of 15 km and endurance of 60 minutes, that would enhance the surveillance and tracking capability, and also carry out precision targeting of enemy targets. Weapons and Electronic Systems Engineering Establishment has developed a new generation AI-enabled combat management system, and the Indian Navy will start testing of the system in August. All warships commissioned between 2024 and 2029 will be equipped with the new generation combat management system, that can do faster threat assessment with inbuilt AI algorithms, and will give suggestions on which particular weapon should be used in a particular situation. The Indian Navy will start trials of an indigenously developed ocean-going multi-role unmanned surface vessel in November, that has been jointly designed and developed by Bharat Electronics Limited and Goa Shipyard Limited. The unmanned surface vessel is 15 meters long, and has a maximum speed of more than 30 knots. It will be equipped with various types of sensors, and will be powered by two 500 bhp diesel engines along with water jet propulsion. It will operate on a computer-based software algorithm, and will function autonomously with a static and dynamic obstacle collision avoidance system, and will be used in reconnaissance surveillance and mine countermeasure operations. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has announced that it will be unveiling its first indigenously developed autonomous underwater vehicles on the 28th of July, that will travel underwater without requiring continuous input from an operator. It will be equipped with advanced sensors like depth sensor sonar systems and magnetometers, and will be used for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, mine countermeasures and anti-submarine warfare. Ahead of delivery of first C-295 aircraft to the Indian Air Force in September, the Indian Air Force has inaugurated a central stock holding depot for C-295 aircraft spares at the Prayagraj Base 24 Equipment Depot. The facility will support the operations of upcoming fleet of C-295, as it will ensure efficient management of spare parts and equipment, thus streamlining maintenance and support for the new aircraft. India is expected to conclude the deal with General Atomics for the acquisition of 31 MQ-9B armed drones by the end of November, and the deliveries will commence by the end of 2025. The letter of request for the 31 MQ-9B drones has been sent to the US government, and the deal outlines the induction of 15 Sea Guardians into the Navy, and 8 Sky Guardians each into the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force, with indigenous content of approximately 20%. Thank <laughs> you.